Zreen, Shadow Warrior 2 is a game that we both played, and I think it's really cool. And that's why I want to talk to you about it today. What did you think of it? I was actually quite pleasantly surprised. I have not played any of the Shadow Warrior games before. I had heard about them, and I watched some of the trailers and the gameplay, and it looks really interesting to me. Like, I was like, whoa, where did this game come from? So this is Shadow Warrior 2, which is a sequel to a reboot of Shadow Warrior, which was a 1997 first person shooter made by 3D Realms, who also made things like Wolfenstein, Duke yep. Nukem, most famous. But this one, Shadow Warrior 2 is taking things in a slightly different direction. Whereas the first reboot focused on a Lydia story which followed the adventures of Lo Wang, this one is a much more open RPG style FPS in the vein of Borderlands. And that's one of the things that I wanted to talk about that sets it apart from other first person shooter games because you know there is like a loot system there's a crafting system there's a questing system which is kind of bizarre to me because Shadow Warrior to me was kind of this all this like all about stupid visceral unapologetically dumb in its humor yeah like it makes wang jokes yeah. They make blank jokes. It's very <laughs> exploitation style. It's like over the yeah. top violence, over the top jokes, and they throw a lot of things that yeah. don't always stick, but you know, <laughs> is in this is in the spirit of the whole thing. Yeah, and like it's something that you know, like as soon as you start well, as soon as I started playing the game, like I thought, okay, like that's what this game is gonna be about, and that's kind of like the expectation. So I thought like since all the humor and the style of everything was shallow that the gameplay would follow suit and also be shallow, but it was surprisingly deeper than I thought yeah, it would instead be. Instead, there's like damage numbers and like an <laughs> elemental system and that yeah, kind of stuff. So and it, like, yeah, let's go into some of that. Some of the like, let's go into like the weapons and stuff. I ended up using the katanas a lot. Yeah. Because even though they're melee weapons, they're not underpowered compared to guns. But they made the katanas kind of like powerful enough to make you want to keep using them which was cool. I love melee in first person shooters, mm -hmm. mainly because you know they're usually so underpowered and I just like punching guys in the face. <laughs> but the melee system in Shadow Warrior 2, you know, like Shadow Warrior 1, is actually really great. So like you said, there were the dual katanas and there were the Wolverine claws, which I kind of preferred. <laughs> And the thing I really liked about them is that, uh, you know, they had a variety of special moves. So you could charge up uh, left or right and do like a spin attack. Mm. You could uh, charge forward and do like a really great lunge and like just dig into your enemies. And you could hold back and, you know, send off uh, a sort of wave. So your melee actually had a sort of ranged component to it if you needed it. And the thing I liked about it also was that coupled with the movement system, which was also super fun, so you can kind of like air dash um, anywhere, yeah. um, mid-jump, and there's no sort of stamina, so it's kind of unlimited. Mm. So being really agile with the melee was just, just made the game so fun for me to play. And also the fact that, you know, you could switch between guns and, and melee very quickly, mm. and in doing so, you, you know, came off with another attack. So you were never sort of caught in a bad situation. That's right, and I think that's one of the things that the game did very well that I experienced, because it was like, it had this nice flow to it, right? Like, you're yeah. always running, you're jumping, climbing up roofs, and you're never really stopping. Even when you're fighting monsters, all the big fights would happen, like, in these large arenas with yeah. plenty of room for you to like run around and like maneuver yourself. One thing we should mention is that the guns also had elemental damage, which yes. is not something I really saw the advantage of in this demo that we played because we got all the weapons um, mm -hmm. and we, you know, we weren't really caring about loot and that kind of stuff. Right. We were quite overpowered. It was yeah. just the experience of combat. And we didn't really mess around with the crafting slash customization system either. Yeah. Although I did notice that um, certain demons like the bosses and stuff, they have text underneath their health bars that say things like weak to frost or right. yes, strong right. against lightning. Yeah. So, you know, at those moments I would pull out like a gun that had frost ammo in it, I guess. Yeah. Or I would use the bow that had lightning on it, yeah. like that kind of stuff. I, th I can imagine like doing more with that yeah. kind of stuff. It's obviously something that they're really going to dive deep into, I assume, mm. but it's not something we could really assess. No, not at this point. Not when we were just overpowered and like didn't really have to worry about all that stuff at that point in yeah, time. Yeah, that's right. I just like pull out my claws and just <laughs> clawed everything. It was really fun. 
So let's talk about the move to an open world RPG and sort of the the loss of you know a storyline mm-hmm. um, as far as we could see. I mean, there is still a storyline. There is like the main quest storyline which you have to follow if mm. you want to progress. But there is still room for you to go off and do side missions yeah. if you want to just hoard loot and stuff. There's a lot of like go here to collect this. Oh, so absolutely. So but that being said, like I only had like an hour with the game. Mm. I don't know, like uh, the character who you're paired with this time around. Kamiko, I believe her name is. She just grated on my nerves, honestly. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it is a like as soon as you get into it, you know what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. Like same with like it was kind of like Duke Nukem 3D, right? Like you know what yeah, kind of you're game there to kill a bunch of dudes, <laughs> and you know that style of FPS is definitely coming back. What with Doom recently being rebooted, uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing a lot more Shadow Warrior 2, just mm-hmm. because it feels so good to kill things. Yeah, it takes that and it does it really well. Next with the ball, you get the way. 